What's up guys, Chan the Barber back at it again. Today I wanted to give you a more in-depth look at my, my barber station setup and just a little look at space that I've created that I've, I'm cutting at currently. Next year I'm actually moving into a shop in Jackson, Mississippi, but for the time being, since I got out of school in February of 22, I've just been set up here at this space that I kind of created from my old bedroom. It's been really, really good experience. I've really enjoyed it and will miss it when I'm, I'm gone, but I I have uh, this little space I built and I'm really proud of it. And I'm gonna give you a look at my tools, the clippers and everything that I use. Uh, maybe it'll be helpful, inspiring and encouraging to you. So let's, uh, let's get into it. On my station, I have my clippers, my guards, and uh, you know the supplies that I that I use, product and cleaning. Um, as far as the clippers go, I uh, currently running the Babeless Low Pro. I really uh, like this trimmer, and um, oh, I need to wipe that off. Has some cool care on it. Um, the Low Pro trimmer put the Gold FX blade on it and it's uh, it cuts really good and I like it. I also have the Low Pro uh, clipper and um, I don't use this a, a ton but I really do like it. Um, it feels a lot better to me than um, the other Babeless custom FX I had. Um, obviously gotta gotta have some magic clip on the station. This was my first Magic Clip set that I actually got from the school. I painted it and I actually have a video on my channel of me uh, of, of me doing this little custom job. It, what, it's not perfect. Obviously there's a couple of little spots right here but um, it's maintained pretty well. So check that video out if you want to see how I did that. But uh, yeah the uh, Magic Clips are a great clipper, just a workhorse. So I end up using those a pretty good bit. Uh, this is pretty much a Magic Clip as well. I got this from the Disrupt Tour, which was put on by Wall. And um, so I use this every now and then, not a whole lot. I, I, I mainly use it um, to get out like bald guidelines. Um, so uh, those are clippers that I just kind of vary with. This clipper I probably use the most. This is the Wall Senior um, Metal Casing Edition. I, I don't know, it's a newer edition that Wall put out. I bought it at the uh, Connecticut Barber Expo and it came with the charging dock and I really like that, but I really do love that clipper. I like the weight of it, the feel of it, and um, it's just a great, great clipper. Back here, I have, um, this is the first foil shaver that I've ever, you know, I ever got, and I haven't gotten another foil shaver. Uh, it's the Wall Finale. It uh, cuts really nice. I do feel like I might want to try a different one if you have a suggestion what you like, put it in the comment section be below and I'll check that out. Um, got my spray bottle, got the astringent. Uh, this company right here is the, uh, I guess it's Mamara, but it's Barber brand. I found this at Connecticut Barber Expo too and they were having a deal and I got a couple of different uh, aftershave astringent. Um, this stuff smells really good and I love the design on the bottle. Got my shave gel, L3, <clears throat> level three shave gel. It's nice scent to that as well. Clubman powder, have it on my station. And, um, so, and, I, and also for the guards, I'm using the wall, pretty much just the wall color guards and I have some of the premium guards that I like. 
Uh, Shears, Mizutani. These are the Scorum Master Shears. Um, little set. This is the blending shears and um, just my regular cutting shears that I use. And I pretty much use that, those. I do have another set I'll show you in a second um, that, I, that I'll use every now and then. Got my um, straight razors right here. I just have two if I'm kind of back to back with clients. Um, I'll load those up fresh uh, and I make sure my clients know that I switch out um, <clears throat> the blades each time. And um, I've got uh, these little, uh, this little kind of feather um, razor right here that I use for adding texture. And um, let's see what else. Comb, brush, um, and I switch out my my all-purpose comb and clipper over comb every time, and I'll show you uh, that in a second. But I'll use that, and I'll discard it uh, here. These are what needs to be cleaned, so these are dirty. So once I fill this up, I will clean them all. It just kind of helps me to um, not have to, you know, clean the combs after each cut, and I'm just getting new, fresh combs each time, and then I'll clean them all at once. Um, got the cool care, keep the clippers clean. Got the oil, both Andis products. I've got Barberside right here. Some hand sanitizer. And uh, these are the products I use. I sell these products as well. This is Sheer Revival. They're out of New Jersey, amazing company. They make uh, plant-based products. Um, this is probably the one I use the most, which is a matte paste. Uh, people really like that. And the um, texture powder. And I uh, have this hairspray, Aussie hairspray, which I don't use a ton, only when I feel like it is necessary on my next strip um little container there which i don't use those as much i might use those when wiping clients down with astringent uh, but mainly because <clears throat> i i really like these which i got at the connecticut barber expo but it, it's uh these are a lot nicer because they actually have like this little glue strip that um will attach it so it's just a little bit more secure. Have my Illusion uh, custom capes here. I got these little light strips. The mirror got from Target. And just have some cool little inspiring uh, photos. James Dean getting his hair cut. Got Elvis Presley. These, these photos just kind of uh, inspire me. I like to have things like that. Um, to look at and I uh, got my ring light. I really wish I had two ring lights because the lighting in here is not that great, um, but this does the job. Uh, let's see what else I'm missing. I uh, have this Arusel, uh grooming tonic, which I usually use before I blow dry. Um, the blow dryer I have is really simple. Uh, I think it was probably 12 bucks from Walmart. I have not dipped in to upgrade to a, a nicer one yet, but that works. So down here, um, I have uh, the uh, little Babeless wireless hand massager that I use. And um, so that's just some storage down here. Gloves, uh, keep my um, razor blades right there. Um, have some, this is some aftershave cream if I'm doing a shave. This is some pre-shave oil, both Suavecito. Have my little duster here, um, which I don't use a ton because I have this. 
I got this off of Amazon. Um, this is a game changer. Um, some oil, just some knickknacks, some shave gel. Yeah. Um, got some stuff that I only pull out ever so often. Some kid guard, some other guards that uh, I don't really use a ton. Some extra brushes and stuff. Um, I showed this drawer. I have a mirror, dirty combs. This is uh, some neck strip supply. And this is just kind of graveyard um, stuff I don't really use anymore. Uh, all right. The chair is off of a, a site called ASG. Um, I think it was about 800 bucks. Uh, it has been like super nice. I have no complaints with it. And I really love it, really proud of it. My first barber chair. Got the hydraulics. I have the I keep the headrest for it up here when I do a shave or whatever. Over here I have hot towel warmer. Got it off Amazon. Um, this is the wall hot lather. Um, and then down here is where I keep. This is where I keep my. Um, clean combs uh, and uh, I, I switch out the brush, e brush each time you know I'll, you know when I was in school and I see a lot of people use the same brush from client to client you know with fades and things like that and that's just really dirty so uh, I bought this this is like uh, I mean I haven't even used a ton because I'll clean them each time but this was super cheap on Amazon, Diane's company's 36 pack clipper cleaning brush. And that's what I use. They're, they're nice. Um, so I have that. I have some more cleaning stuff. Clipper wash, um, blade wash. That's my um, blade uh, container dirty blades um, and just some products that I don't really use a ton, but I do use these. I put this in my water bottle. It's a hair tonic, really nice scent to it. And also really helps with parting the hair. And that is the uh, grooming tonic that I have. So that's just uh, in those cabinets and in here keep all clean towels when i'm done with towels put them here at the end of the day wash them towels and some more cleaning stuff barbicide and some disinfectant you know you know so that's pretty much it a little seating area here and got a little product display right there Pretty simple, uh, nothing too crazy, um, but gets the job done and I really love it. I love the space, I'm really proud of it and um, I'll be sad to leave it when I go into a shop, but um, it's really helped me to hone in on my craft and just to have this time, um, to have a little bit more of an intimate setting has been really nice. So that is the setup. And I hope you have enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a like, a like, and uh, subscribe to my channel for more content. Until next time, keep it pumping.